for joining me today. Today, we are talking about action. Do you know what I mean by action? Like doing, like doing something, being part of something. What are you active in? If we think about being followers of Jesus, how can we take action in doing that? If we are being nice and kind and loving to others, are our actions showing that we're a follower of Jesus? Or if we're being self-centered, that means taking care of our needs first before others and not talking to others and not holding doors and not smiling and not listening. Is that a good action? An action of a follower of Jesus? I don't think so. What actions can you do to show that you love Jesus? There's all kinds of things we can do. Our world friends, they are taking action to help the church. Let's see what they do. having a bake sale to pay for repairs on the pipe organ. I heard they found a family of raccoons in it. They've got all kinds of jobs we can sign up for. I'm going to help with... Ooh, the cake booth! What about you, Clara? Me? I'll... I'll... Oh, the pressure! It's too much! I can't! Is she panicking? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to sign up to help with the bake sale? Me? <laughs> no. This looks like a job for... Phantasmo! Defender of integrity and hygiene! Phantasmo will sign up to help with all the remaining jobs! Really? So, setting up the tables, getting plates and forks, and the bake sale permit... All of it! Phantasmo! Away! <laughs> <laughs> Egg, how's it going? Otto, where have you been? You said you would set up the tables, get the forks and plates, and a city permit to sell baked goods. I didn't volunteer for that. Phantasmo did. And I'm sure he's on top of it. Really? Ooh, cake. See? Uh... Can I have a piece of cake? Or not, if you... Sure, Clara. Here. We don't have any plates or forks or anything, really. Sorry. No plates or forks? This looks like a job for... Phantasmo! Phantasmo found a fork in the garbage can. Here you are, citizen. You there! Is that a paper plate in your hand? Don't throw it away. Sharing is caring! Germs! So many germs! I don't know how this could get any worse. What's that? What's going on? It's the fire! This is the police. You are operating a big sale without a permit. Come out with your hands up. But Phantasmo said he was going to get us our permit. It doesn't matter what people say they will do. They need to do it. Excuse me, officer. Is is this big sale permit good enough? Yep, that'll do it. Clara, you did something for the bake sale. I thought you said you couldn't help. I just couldn't take the pressure of everyone expecting me to do something. I wanted to help, so I volunteered for things in my head. Oh, and I've got plates and forks, too. That's weird, but it's wonderful. You're a hero. <laughs> Greetings, citizens. I am the uh, Illusion Lad, sidekick to Phantasmo. Phantasmo sends his apologies. He was unable to save your bake sale due to an international emergency. Uh-huh. I must go now. Phantasmo, I mean, illusion lad, away! So even though you're a kid, you can help the church too. I wonder how you could be a helpful friend to our church. I wonder if you could 
pick up things when you see things on the ground or clean up after yourself or help people go greet and say good morning to people before they go into church. How about an acolyte, the person that comes and lights our candles at the beginning of worship? There's all kinds of actions that you can take right here in our church. Well, let's read our Bible story. We're gonna read from our World Storybook Bible. And our uh, Bible story is called Words or Actions. Our Bible story comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 23 through 32. The chief priest pushed through the crowd of people in the temple. They had some questions for Jesus. Who said you could teach about God, they asked. Who gave you the authority to heal people? Why do you have the power to create miracles? Jesus stopped teaching and replied, Before I answer, I have a question for you. Who gave John the Baptist the authority to baptize people? The leaders began to argue with each other. The right answer was God, or the people, or something else? They answered Jesus. We don't know. Jesus frowned at the leaders who could not agree. Our world friends say, Answering a question with a question is pretty clever. Yes, but it makes me wonder what the answer really was. Instead of answering the chief priest's question, Jesus told them a parable. A father asked his older son to pick grapes in the vineyard. No, father, I don't want to, the son complained. Later, he changed his mind and he picked grapes for his father. Then the father went to his younger son. Will you please pick grapes for me today? Yes, father, I'll pick grapes. But the younger son did not pick a grape. Jesus challenged the chief priest with this story. God hears our words and wants to see our actions too, he said. Words and actions go together. If you say you love God, then show it in what you do. Our friends ask, who is allowed to say no to their parent? Not me. Who is allowed to say no to their parents? I don't think parents really like it when their kids say no. And I don't think God likes it when we say no or when our actions, what we do in our life, don't show our love for God. So I was thinking, maybe you can put your love of God into action. What can you do to show others that you love God and you want to live just how Jesus taught us to? Could you help out at school? Maybe you can help a friend who is having a hard time. Maybe you can help your family. I know around my house there's lots to do. I have my kids help me take out the trash and empty the dishwasher, clean off the table, all kinds of things we can do. You're not too young to help the church. You can help out because you are important. God loves you so much. You don't have to be a grown-up to be important. And you don't have to be a grown-up to use your actions to show that you are a follower of Jesus. All right, my friends, you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.